All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday morning huddle. Jesse McPherson coming at you from Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, this is an actual real backdrop. So it's kind of cool, right? It's not a green screen. Look at that. Uh, so this is uh, actually my uh, my future home. So actually a home I bought last year. I've got uh, I was renting it and uh, the renters are out. I've got new renters coming in for a few more months. And uh, finally going to be able to move into my dream home here at the end of this year. But um, anyway, I had to come over here because there's carpet cleaners and landscapers and all kinds of stuff getting fixed over for our new summer tenants. But um, we have an incredible guest on here today. So I don't want to waste any of his time because I know he's on a tight time schedule. Um, and I am super, super excited to get a chance to introduce you to him. But before I do that real quick. Bootcamp, 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 all roads lead to bootcamp. If you're not already registered for bootcamp, it is the single most important decision you will make for your business career. Um, it will also be the worst decision you'll make if you aren't at bootcamp uh, for your business. So, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that as things go on here, but I'm so excited to introduce this individual. Um, uh, we have uh, just started to get to know each other over the course of this last five months, this last six months. Um, but what I can tell you is from um, him and his beautiful wife and what they've been able to do in such a short period of time here in secret, but they are professional network marketers. Uh, they have created a business with literally hundreds of thousands, million people inside of their business of customers and distributors all across the world um, as seven figure income earners have done incredibly, incredibly well. And what's very exciting is I think I might be one of the first times getting a chance to introduce them as the newest blue diamonds in all of secret. Now, if you guys don't know, blue diamond is 200,000 in volume on your left, 200,000 in volume on your right, plus your leadership requirement. Um, it comes with a $40,000 rank bonus. And I know that these guys are just getting warmed up and they will not be anywhere close to satisfied until they knock out Crown Royale this year here in 2021. Um, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martin Ruoff, are you on the phone? Can you hear uh, me, sir? I am. I am. Thank you so much for having me on, Jesse. Hey, hey, and um, whatever camera system you have set up is I we need, we all need, because you look so beautiful. <laughs> it's just, it's just an iPhone. That's all. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't believe you. Hey. So, well, thank you for being here, my friend. Um, we have some of our North American leadership here that comes on here on this Wednesday, getting us through Hump Day and making sure that we are uh, rocking things out. But um, I would just love for you to share your story and uh, you know, and uh, your experience here coming on board with Secret and uh, what does the future hold for us. Sure, sure, absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you again for having me on. Uh, I appreciate you asking me. And you're right, this is the first, uh, the first um, uh, really training that we've done since uh, since hitting Blue Diamond, and I'm just very excited. And and honestly, Jesse, I, I so appreciate and respect your leadership. Uh, what you have helped us do, my wife and I, our team, and obviously, I mean, all the teams, uh, you know, around, uh, around the world is, uh, it's, it's outstanding. I, I, your, your leadership is exceptional. And I just, I appreciate you always being there for us. And, um, you know, I, I think that that's actually a good sort of segue into the, you know, into the story is that I was, uh, when I first got started with network marketing, 15, 16 years ago, I was a waiter. I was working in Los Angeles. I currently live in Minneapolis now, um, but I was living in Los Angeles and working at a high-end restaurant. And I just was burned out. I, I had worked in the restaurant industry for 20 years and I had reached the sort of upper echelon of all restaurants. I was literally working at one of the top three restaurants in the city and one of the top 10 restaurants in the United States. And I just thought this is as far as I can go. And I wasn't living the lifestyle that I wanted. I didn't have the level of freedom that I, I saw other people have. And when I was introduced to network marketing, I did not understand it at all. I was uh, sponsored originally into network marketing by Carrie and Leisha Schneider. You may know them. Some of you may know them uh, as the twins. Uh, they're just very, just incredibly down to earth, dynamic, humble, uh, incredibly tenacious people uh, when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to business and just living a great life. So they really helped open my mind uh, to other ways of making money. So, and we, the three of us really started in this industry together, not knowing anything, but we got around successful people. And, 
And that was the thing that shifted me is I started surrounding myself with, as the saying goes, with the thinking that was out thinking me. And uh, I started surrounding myself with people that were making far more money, much more money than I was making at that time. And that just revved my, it, it, it increased my level of thinking and, and performance, if you will. And uh, we're very fortunate to have a lot of success in another company. Um, you know, we became uh, million dollar annual earners in that other company. And uh, we had a, you know, we had a great time, traveled all around the world, learned a tremendous amount about business, about life, uh, personal development. And then about six months ago, Secret came into uh, our orbit. And I'm so profoundly grateful that it did, <laughs> that it came into our orbit because it, this is, this is, it's the company that I needed. It's the, with the products that my wife and I, we needed uh, with the leadership, with the, with the, this, the systems, all of it. It's just, it, it, what we recognized with secret was one, the products are exceptional, exceptional, <laughs> like, wow. Uh, and the, the platform for this particular business is just so supremely well set up and structured that we saw that we had a very long runway to build something significant. And I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, a person that is looking to, you know, move from one company to another. I, I no, I've been involved with two network marketing companies, the one before this and, and secret. And I am looking forward uh, for Secret to be our long-term, long-term home. And, um, uh, you know, yeah. And I'm, anyway, so we, we're, the interesting thing is we're just getting started, as Jesse said. And, um, you know, what I'm doing is I'm, I just turned into student mode. Uh, I've sort of let go of whatever success we had in the past. And, um, you know, and I'm just very focused on learning this system, developing this system and, uh, and, and just diving into the culture uh, that Secret has and helping to create the culture within our team. So it's great to be, to have a beginner's mindset and it's great to, uh, you know, to have uh, this fire that we have that I frankly haven't felt in a very, very, very long time. <laughs> so it's great. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's my story. Very cool. Well, I um, uh, I'm, I have always millions of questions because I'm like the question freak because I want to know everything because I have this like insatiable curiosity about things. Um, but uh, you know, from uh, from from your experience here in, in the last five months, um, and watching uh, your team kind of you know adopt into uh, some of these products and, and all that, uh, what have you seen has been one of the most effective strategies that you've been using in order to get people to go, okay, I'm in and let's go. Because I know everybody here goes, okay, I want to rank advance. I want to build a bigger team. What were some of the things that you're seeing working right now for your group? Great question. Uh, it's casting vision and it's helping people get emotionally bought in. And the way we, and, and let me just preface this please by saying, we have not figured this out. Like I'll speak for myself. I have not figured out the full system. I have not, you know, mastered this, uh, the, the secret game at all. Okay. We are working towards that. I make a lot of mistakes and we're learning as we go and we're doing our best to just, again, be very coachable and learning from people like, like you, Jesse, literally learning what you're doing and adopting those systems. Okay. Now with that said, Here's what I know for a fact is working for us. Um, it's, it's building people's vision, getting them emotionally bought in, not just to secret, but to the, the, the biggest picture that they have for themselves and showing them that secret is the best vehicle to help them get there as quickly as, as they drive this, you know? And so what we're doing is we're getting product on people. We're, we're constantly talking about using the products, use the products, use the products, get the have it all pack. So that way you're experiencing all of the products or the, you know, the, the maximum number of products, because the more you experience, the more you're going to, the more you're going to, you know, enjoy and love the products. Uh, the more you experience, the more you love, the more you'll share. Uh, and so that's one thing. And then the other thing is it's the training. 
I mean, you talked about boot camp. That's it. I, I, I built, we, we built a multi, multi million dollar business in another company utilizing the training system. Hands down, 100%. It is a, I don't know, I almost never use this word, but I'll use it here. Guaranteed, that is the way to build in terms of getting you know, getting people emotionally bought in into the big picture and helping them sell, helping them see themselves winning is have them attend the trainings like boot camp. So we had a, a pretty large number of people come to uh, elevate. And it was at Elevate that we had people make a big decision. People that were sitting on the sidelines, we got them to Elevate and they just woke up. I have a guy that his name is, uh, is Josh. Uh, he went from zero left, zero right. Not, you know, just basically he was an active agent to hitting platinum in two weeks coming cool. out of Elevate. Two Jeez. weeks, two. Because he, he caught it, he got it. And he's like, you know, I'm getting after this thing. <laughs> he's like, this is incredible. I had no idea. And uh, same thing, his mother um, hit a new rank each week, uh, five consecutive or four consecutive weeks coming out of that, that event. And she's a solid platinum as well. And, um, you know, uh, that's it. That's what we do. We just, you know, we, we create a culture of fun. We create a culture of using the products and enjoying the products and experiencing them. And we create, we create a culture of training in our team. And then we really do our best to not make, make it seem like the training is work because I don't think that it is. It's technically work, but trainings are a blast. And all I know is, had I not gone to a training with Marcus Seta 15 years ago, I literally would not be sitting here talking with you right now. I, I flat out guarantee it because it was the training that opened up my mind. It was the training that built my belief. And I've been to, I go to every single training. We, you know, I tell the leaders that I personally work with, look, if you're not going to go to the training, I love you, but I'm not going to work with you personally because I can't do for you what the trainings will do. Because there's something about our team seeing Jesse on stage, seeing Muzaffer on stage, seeing Matt Morris on stage, seeing other people other than us on stage training and it just, it just opens up their mind. And that's it. That, that's what we do. That's what we're doing, I'll say. So. Wow, I love it. Um, all right, so here's one of my favorite questions. Uh, obviously, you've been around this space. You've been very successful, you know, tra you know, transitioning, so to speak, into secret here. Um, you know, it's kind of like, you know, 11 years ago or 10 years ago when I transitioned, I wasn't new, you know, so there was a lot of things that I knew. And, you know, for I, I know you're figuring it out and, and you're figuring it out is OK. What is the right system and what's the right approach and how do we get this? Do we lead with, you know, the, how do we get the, these three pillars of skincare and, and nutrition and travel and have it all compact and what's our strategy and how does that look? launch and what's a new person do when they first get in you know so I, I know what your brain is doing because it's the same thing my brain is doing right now trying to figure all this stuff out but um i, I want to actually go back to not you know the uh, you you have this wisdom and experience of you know 15 plus years now in this space and doing incredibly well um i want to go back like you no know, everything that you've known today and everything that you've learned here today if you could go back 15 years ago to the Martin Ruop that just signed his new application yeah. and talk to that dude uh, from 15 years ago, knowing everything you know today, what advice would you give him? Great question. Think bigger. Think bigger. Again, surround yourself with the thinking that outthinks you. Do everything you can, Martin, to get around. Uh, the, the successful people that have what you want and are doing the things that, you know, that you want to be doing with your life um, and, and go as fast as you possibly can. One of the things that's challenging about, uh, you know, the, the, the business and that, you know, I've just learned over the years is, you know, we have this saying fast is fun slow sucks. <laughs> so, you know, which do you want? You want fun or do you want, you know, wow, this really sucks, you know, um, because when you're going fast, meaning you, you build a big list right out of the gate, build a big list and attack that list. 
attack it, get as many pe people to see and experience the products as possible, as fast as you can. Because what happens is when you're going in, when you have the mindset of moving quickly, you're creating energy. You're creating emotion and the emotion creates the energy. And it, that is, it's in, it's, um, infective. It's, it's infectious. <laughs> it's contagious. It bleeds into other people. And they just, they, they know that you've got something going on. And most people, I'm sure you would all agree. Most people want more for, for, and from their life than what they're currently experiencing. It doesn't mean they're living a bad life. They just want more. And if they can find someone else that is, that is running after more with a lot of energy, and a lot of enthusiasm, chances are they're going to want to follow that person because people are buying you. Customers are buying the products. Agents are buying you. They're buying your vision. They're buying you in the sense that that's the guy. Jesse can help me get to where I want to go because look at him. He's doing something. I want to follow that. So that's, those are the, those are the three primary things that I would say is, is think way bigger than you currently are. Surround yourself with the right people, the best people you possibly can that have the things that you want or doing the things you want to do. And then, uh, you know, uh, and as I said, just move as fast as you can. Don't get into your head thinking about stuff. Just go, go, go. This is, what I'm finding is that this business secret is a very simple business because here's what's great. And this is what we teach. And I recognize this. And Jesse, I, I don't know if you remember, but we were in Arizona in the hotel where I think it was at that Hilton or whatever it was. And it was a Monday afternoon and you did a product demo and I sat and we recorded you and I'm not kidding you, man. I sat and just watched you and I'm like, he's having fun. This is so simple. Like I can do that. And what I recognize from you that I teach all the time is just get up and do it. You, you, you can't screw it up. You, you can't, you don't have to be good at selling this because the product sells itself. Putting those little, that the, the mineral rich peeling gel on, on your wrist and going, Oh, Oh, did you shower today? <laughs> mm, mm, are you sure? Cause I do, I do what you do. I go, are you sure? Right. <laughs> Okay, because you know what that is? That's dead skin. Ooh, you know, making jokes like that and having fun. It's just it, the stuff sells itself. All we got to do is have fun, get out of our heads and get into action, putting it on people and putting the products in people. Oh, I love it. I love it. Put it on people, put it in people. Yeah, we have a, a saying. Yeah, there's two there's two ways to build a business. One is fast. The other is painful. Yeah, there you go. You know, yeah. right. So. <laughs> Just like, what do you want to do? You know, I mean, you want it to be painful. How long do you want to be painful for? That's just the only question you really got to ask yourself. And then you're ready right. to go fast. Right. Um, so, and, and the, the way that was described to me a long time ago was, um, you know, if you're learning to ride a bike, and uh, I'm sure many of you guys, if you don't remember to learning to ride a bike, you might have a, a kid who tried to teach to ride a bike. And there's that, there's that, that moment where something very magical happens when you're learning to ride a bike or you're teaching someone to learn to ride a bike. Um, but what's amazing about it is you have to have enough speed to catch that magic moment. Mm -hmm. And that magic moment is when you, somebody gets balance. And once you get it, it never leaves you. Like you have it forever. Like even if you haven't ridden a bike in 20 years, you can usually pick it back up really quickly because you know what it feels like to get into balance. The challenge is it's really difficult to capture any balance if you're going really slow. You need to have some movement. You got to have some movement in order to catch it. So sometimes while everything feels a little wobbly, it feels off track or it feels like I keep falling over, I keep falling over, I keep falling over. For most of you, the problem isn't the bike. The problem is you just don't have enough speed. You need to get a little, you need to move a little faster to capture it. And I know sometimes feeling like, well, if I'm going faster, I'm going to feel more out of control. I need to be going slower. No, I promise you the faster you move, the simpler our business is, the more fun the business is. Um, and the less the other things end up, you know, kind of like that usually bog us down or pull us down or push us over. We don't topple on those things anymore. We just roll right over them. Right. Cause if you're going really slow and you hit like, you know, a small bump it, you feel it or, you know, but if you're going fast, it's like, boop, 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 like you didn't, you don't think about it. You don't feel it. You don't know it. Um, so Martin, I know you have another call to get to. 
another training that you have to get to. Um, so I'm super excited to spend some time with you here over the next few days. I know you guys are coming out mm -hmm. here to visit some visit us in Phoenix. Um, so you and your beautiful wife. Um, so one of the things I do, it's just for the most part, it's like, okay, I get it. I've heard this stuff. Um, you know, are there, if I if look back at my career and it's like, there's, there's knowing and doing, right? I think most people know what to do. What do we got to do? We got to go do it. We got to go put product on people, share the story, share the experience. But for some reason why there's that, you know, a lot, for a lot of people, there's that, um, you know, whether it be holding back or uh, hesitancy or uh, to go out there and do the business or consistency. And I know that's something that I have battled over the course of my 20 years in this profession. I'm sure it's something that you've gone through because I know all top leaders go through that. Um, so what have you done in your past to kind of get yourself out of your own way necessarily or get yourself to go do the actions even when you don't feel like it to be consistent in your business? Is there any tricks you got for us? Yeah, I don't know if there's really any tricks. It's just for me, I just have to remember why I'm doing this and what I, you know, what I want from it. And I, I worked in the service industry for 20 years and uh, literally it didn't hit me until uh, about my 20th year in the service industry, waiting tables, bartending, bus boy, bar back, short order cook, I've done it all. And it was literally my 20th year waiting tables. Uh, I, I was so frustrated and so annoyed and I had such a chip on my shoulder and I was like, this is annoying. And, you know, I was just walking around, you know, just sort of, you know, frustrated all the time. Uh, and I had this sort of sense of entitlement that like I should be doing something different and I'm better than this, all that, all that garbage. The point of my, my story there is, you know, um, I just, I just wasn't, grateful for what I had. And I wasn't really in, I wasn't really respecting, you know, the journey and the process of it. But it, it's interesting that, um, uh, well, I just, you know, I, I'm so sorry, I just literally blanked on what I was going to say, because I had a flashback of something <laughs> the day I almost got fired. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> wow, that's interesting. That's so um, like that might could be, that might could be a good story. Yeah, 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 yeah I gotta write that one down. Um, uh, so, wow. Holy smokes. Uh, wait a minute. What was your question? I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, how do you get yourself, you know, oh, yeah. through, the, through the times where you're, you don't feel like yeah. necessarily doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, see, there's hope for all of you. Look at me. Okay. Um, but, uh, basically here's what I recognized. Okay. In that moment when I, you know, I almost got fired from that job. Uh, well, here's what I recognized is that I wanted to need to be grateful, but two, I needed to remember what I was actually doing. And this is what I locked into. Okay. God, the universe, whatever works for you is that have me working in the service industry because I was meant to be of service to people. That's my purpose, big part of my purpose. So when I locked into that and I became grateful for what I was, for what I had and what I was doing, everything shifted. I apply that mentality to this. So when I have moments, when I have days where I'm just like, ah, oh, this is too frustrating. I get, I get fearful, things like that. It's a couple of things that I remember. What am I doing this for? What do I want? Right. What am I doing this for? And if I'm not in that place of just being of service to other people and I'm focusing on myself, I'm focusing on the wrong person. I'm also being selfish because this is the fact that I've experienced over and over and over. And I'll ask you all, how many people do you know in your, in your world, people you may work with people in your family, friends that you hear, you know, you just know they need something more. And you know, that most likely secret will help get them the thing that they want more of. Okay. Uh, if we don't, if you don't go show them, if you don't just invite them to sit down, don't invite them over to put some, you know, and just have an experience with this stuff. It's actually an act of selfishness. And so for myself, I can't be like that. And so that for me, that's if, if you will, a trick, that's just something that I remember, but what I really focus on doing is helping other people get what they want in this business. You, you've heard the saying, help people, help enough people get what they want. You'll get everything that you want. I believe if you just do it with a lot of heart and passion and integrity, 
you're going to get far more than you ever, ever imagined. And you'll help more people get far more than they ever imagined. And so what I do is I pick up the phone and I just call people and I get out of my own way by helping, uh, help helping somebody else. That's what we do in this business is we help people get the, what they want. So if you're getting jammed up and you're like, oh, I don't feel like making a phone call today, or I'm nervous about calling this person, maybe what you do is you pick up the phone and you go help somebody else and, you know, and let them know what's going on. Be accountable. Talk to your sponsor. <laughs> hey, I'm a little freaked out about calling this person. Hey, I'm, I'm in a lot of fear today. Hey, whatever it is that's going on, Maybe just put it out there. Don't give it a lot of energy. Just put it out there. And hopefully the, your, your sponsor or the team, you know, that you're working with, you know, will help snap you back into right thinking and more importantly, get into right action and just pick the phone and call and have fun. Because again, how many people do you know, they need something much greater than what they're experiencing in their life and secret could very well be the opportunity for them to get that. So, you know, it's just, it's, you know, it took, took me years to get to that point. Um, but it's, it is the thing that's, that's helped me. And it's, it is quite honestly, Jesse, it's the thing that helped me because you're probably aware of it. I was pretty stuck a few months ago. I was stuck and I, I acknowledged it on stage at Elevate and, um, and, you know, it was at that moment that I remembered, oh, okay, okay, why am I doing this? And it was that, that was the turning point. And for anybody else that's on here, please understand, you know, yeah, I've had a lot of success in the past, but, but honestly, like I, I'm new to this and, you know, we all get jammed up at times and I was really jammed up for about my first four and a half, four, whatever, four and a half months of building this really jammed up. And it wasn't until I went to that big event, Elevate, that I saw other people on stage and I, I was like, oh, wow, I'm so in my own way. And other people had been sort of hinting to me, dude, are you okay? You're kind of in your own way. But it wasn't until I had that personal experience that I was like, okay, wow. And I got humbled. And as the saying goes, seek humility or it will be delivered to you in a way it was delivered to me and it was it was is exactly what i needed because it woke me up put me back into right action and um you know in six weeks later we went from you know diamond to to blue but more importantly we've helped a lot of other people reach their goals and that is always has been and always will remain the real focus of this is helping other people get what they want. And, uh, and I know that we'll get, you know, more than what, the, the, what we're, what we want. So. Awesome. They had it. awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Martin, uh, mm -hmm. for your time. And uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I think a lot of people uh, mistake the, the, the motivation, you know, a lot of people oh the motivation for the, you know, the big house and the big dreams and the big goals and the big cars and all that other stuff. And I mean, and yeah, look, if, if those things motivate you, fantastic. I have found that the biggest motivators in my life were not uh, dreams, that it was pain. Pain is an incredible teacher. Uh, pain is an incredible motivator. And for me, um, the idea of being in the future five years from now, still being broke, still reading the menu from the left to the right instead of the right to the left, still thinking about where I can actually go on vacation or how I can maybe stretch a few days out or still being able to go, man, I really would love to do this experience or stay at this hotel, but I can't afford it. Like make it still having bank of America rule my decisions. The pain of that, yeah, the yeah. pain of feeling that was so much more than the pop, the pain of rejection, the pain of embarrassment, the pain of looking bad or what people might think. So, um, so don't, uh, don't, don't, don't underestimate pain as a great motivator. Uh, cause it's a good one. So, uh, Martin, thank you so much, brother. And we'll see you uh, tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Absolutely, and, Jesse. Thank you. And, uh, we, uh, that that's it guys. Look, I, uh, 
We're going to be bringing you more stories, inspiration, motivation, experiences here over the course of these calls. So make sure you stay tuned. So sometimes you're going to get training skill tips. Sometimes you're going to get development skill tips. Sometimes you're going to get personal growth. Sometimes you're going to get mindset. But most importantly is stories from real people that are doing exactly what we all need to be doing and exactly what we're doing here. So love you guys. And we'll see you guys on our next training. Bye for now.